Hello, good morning, students. Today, I'm going to explain AC potentiometers. In last class, I had seen uh, the different types of DC potentiometers and its applications. Uh, today, we are going to study about AC potentiometers. AC potentiometer is nothing but uh, it is a potentiometer which is used for measuring the phase and the magnitude of the unknown EMF by comparing it with the known EMF. Such type of potentiometer is known as AC potentiometer. In DC potentiometer, we have seen measurement of magnitude is uh, enough, but in AC potentiometers, uh, apart from measuring the magnitude and the phase angle the phase angle is also necessary to measure the working potential the working principle of ac potentiometer is same as that of the dc potentiometer uh, that is uh, uh, the unknown voltage is is determined by comparing with comparing it with known voltage and when both of them are equal the galvanometer indicates the null point. Here also uh, the unknown magnitude is measured by using the principle of uh, uh, null deflection by using the, uh, the null detector. Right? And um, different types of uh, potential AC potentiometers is available. There are two types of AC potentiometers. The polar type of uh, AC potentiometer and the coordinate type of uh, AC potentiometer. The, the both we are going to study. The working of phenomena of DC potentiometers and AT potentiometers um, are similar, except here we have to measure the, the phase angle also. First we'll, first, we will discuss the polar type AC potentiometer. In this polar type of AC potentiometer, two separate scales are used for measurement of magnitude and phase also. And this is the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram of a polar type AC potentiometer. Here you see there are two windings and there are two windings. And one is called the starter winding. And um, another one is called the, the phase shift uh, rotor winding. And this is also called the, the phase shifting transformer. Right, there are two windings, the starter winding one and the starter winding two. The starter winding itself is divided into two windings, and the another one is the, the rotor winding. Right, in this type of um, polar type potentiometer, two separate scales are used to measure the magnitude and phase angle and the same reference of the unknown EMF. There is a provision on the scale that it could re read phase angle up to. 360 degrees. It has an electrodynamometer type ammeter along with the DC potentiometer and phase shifting transformer, which is operated by a single phase a supply. Right, and this is the circuit diagram. And here the phase shift, the phase shift is uh, uh, the phase shift is produced by using the, the phase shifting circuit, that is the R and C uh, R and C phase shift. A circuit and this is the linear scale and this is the linear scale and this is the the phase shifting is measured uh, uh, and here the phase shifting measured here from 0 to 360 degrees on the the rotor and this is the linear scale and this is the ammeter and this is the galvanometer when the galvanometer uh, shows the null deflection by using the null deflection the unknown EMF is measured. In phase shifting transformer, there are in phase shifting transformer, there are there is a combination of two scales. There is a combination of two ring-shaped laminated steel stators. I mean the stator is shifted into the two the two laminated steel stators. Uh, two windings are connected perpendicular to each other as, as shown in figure. One is directly connected for supply and the other is connected to in series with the variable resistance and the capacitor. And the resistance and capacitor will produce the necessary phase shift between the two windings. So the function of the series component is the 
to maintain the AC supply in the potential meter by doing a small adjustment in it. Uh, the function, uh, and uh, the, between the starters, there is a laminated rotor having the slots and winding, which supplies voltage to the slide wire circuit of the potentiometer. When current starts flowing from starters, the rotating field is developed around the rotor, which induces an EF in the rotor winding. The phase displacement of the rotor EMF is equal to the rotor movement of the ro rotor movement angle from its original position, and it is related to the starter supply voltage. The whole arrangement of the winding is done in such a way that the magnitude of the induced EMF in the rotor may change, but it does not affect the phase angle and it can be read on the scale fixed on the top of the instrument. Right? Uh, and um, the phase and the, the magnitude and phase angle simply is compared by using the uh, compared by uh, compared by bed at null deflection by using the known EMF and the unknown EMF uh, and, 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 and linear scale and the phase angle between the uh, two windings uh, is measured on the, uh, on the rotor scale. Now the coordinate type is a potentiometer. In coordinate type, eighty potentiometer, two separate potentiometers are uh, connected in one circuit, right? And this is the circuit diagram of the circuit diagram of the. This is the circuit diagram of the coordinate type AC potentiometer. Here there are there are two two separate. Uh, two separate two separate potentiometers are connected on the same same circuit. Now see so this is, and there are um, there are two slide wires. The one is the in phase slide wire, and the one is the quadrator slide wire. And um, and the supply is given to the in phase slide wire and the out and, and the quadrator slide wire through the. This is two transformers, right? And there is a phase splitting circuit to provide the necessary phase, phase shift. And the unknown voltage is applied. And the unknown voltage is applied here. In between the two potentiometer, the first one is named as the phase shift potentiometer, which is used to measure measure in phase factor of an unknown EMF. And the other one is and other one is called the quadrature potentiometer, which is measured, which measures the quadrature part of the unknown EMF. It means to measure the in phase quantity and, and, and quadrature quantity, two separate uh, two separate potentiometers are uh, provided here. Right? By adjusting the real start, by adjusting the real start, Saran orders the slide contacts. Uh, that is the current in the quadrature potentiometer becomes equal to the current in the in phase potentiometer and a variable galvanometer shows the null deflection and the the, the two switches uh, the two switches sw1 and sw2 are sign changing switches which are used to change the polarity of the test voltage if it is required for balance the potentiometer. There are two step-down transformers, two, T1 and T2, which isolate the potentiometer from the line and give an earth screen protection between the bindings. It is also supplies the six volts to potentiometer. Means apart from the supplying the voltage the six volts to the potentiometer, the step-down transformers also provides the uh, this, uh, protection for the uh, Protection from the transformers um, that is a um, uh, protection protection for the uh, potentiometers uh, by simply by isolating it uh, to measure the unknown EMF um, uh, to the terminals. The terminals are connected across the sliding contacts A dash using the select switch by using the switch that the, the to measure the for the purpose of measuring unknown EMF uh, the terminals of the of the potentiometer A1 
is connected is connected across this riding contacts A dash using the a switch S3. By doing some adjustments in sliding contacts and rear start, the whole circuit gets balanced and the galvanometer reads zero at the balanced condition. Means you can you can make you can you can balance the circuit by adjusting the sliding contacts on the rear start. And by balancing it, you now you can you can measure, you can determine the Unknown EMF at this balanced condition. Now the in-phase potentiometer, in-phase component, we have the unknown EMF is obtained from the in-phase potentiometer and the quadrature component uh, is obtained from the quadrature potentiometer. Thus the resultant voltage uh, means that uh, in-phase voltage uh, in in-phase in, in, in magnitude of the unknown voltage and the quadrature component of the unknown voltage is measured by using the the two potentiometers um, yeah, that is the in phase potentiometer and quadrature potentiometer and from that values finally you, finally you can determine the the resultant uh, unknown emf voltage by using this formula by using this formula v is equals to square root of v1 square plus v2 square and the phase angle between the uh, and the phase angle between the two voltages v1 and v2 is measured by using uh, the pi is equals to tan inverse v2 by v1 and this is about the ac potential meters and um, the in next class we will we will continue with the next topic thank you